Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So uh, this is time for my monthly favorite video. Uh, usually I do one, I do it once per month, but as I was on a summer holidays, I missed my favorites for the month of July. So I thought it could be fun to group, let's say, my favorites for the months of July and August, as I wore, let's say, more or less the same fragrances because it was summer. And uh, yes, it could be fun to see uh, what fragrances I enjoy to wear this summer. And I thought maybe it can be useful also because <laughs> I don't know where you live, but uh, here, okay, in the north of France, it's the beginning of autumn already, let's say. But in the south of France, I know that yesterday it was still 39 degrees. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, maybe if in, the, or in Australia, uh, maybe summer is starting. So it can be still interesting to see some summer fragrances. So... Voilà. <laughs> okay. So uh, usually I tend to group them by scent, <laughs> more or less. But uh, okay, I, I don't know. It's more or less the same profile because there were uh, floral and uh, citrus fragrances for summer, of course. So I thought, okay, maybe let's start chronologically <laughs> what I started to wear. So at the beginning of summer, I wore a fragrance that is quite new in my collection. I believe it was maybe in my favorites for the month of June already. And this is a floral fragrance by the House of Dior. And it is Jasmin des Anges. So this is a fruity floral. It's beautiful jasmine, but maybe more like osmanthus because it has this fruity touch like apricot, peachy. And it has also this clean, musky background. So in that sense, it's perfect to wear uh, during the spring, summer to go to work, for, for example, because I believe you won't bother anyone smelling, um, wearing this fragrance. It's also quite elegant if you want for a summer night or maybe you go to a, a wedding during a summer. Could be nice. Yeah, and this is one that I enjoy to wear for, yeah, to go to work during the summer. My next one is also a fragrance uh, by the House of Dior. So from the private collection, it is Ballade Sauvage. So this one is a thick fragrance, but it smells like, um, I don't know, <laughs> it's more like a landscape, you know, like going to the beach or coming back to the beach and you're eating some figs on the, on the way, I don't know. This one really has a story behind. It's a bit green, solar. It smells also a little bit mineral also. It's aromatic. It's fruity. Definitely unisex. And I just love this one. I really hope they will keep this one in the collection. They won't change it or reformulate, reformulate it now. But yeah, <laughs> really love this one. And this is also one that I enjoy wearing for the months of July. My next fragrance is a citrus and aromatic also fragrance. And it is Le Frenchie by Guerlain. So I started wearing this one for the 14th of July, as you may know, is the national holiday here, national day in France. I thought <laughs> it would be perfect for that day. And then I loved it so much that I started wearing it uh, a few days in a row. I have so many fragrances. This is quite rare that I don't uh, change regularly my fragrances. So I can tell you if I <laughs> wear a fragrance for a whole week, uh, it's really good. And I was so pleased to wear this one again. I stopped wearing it for a long moment. I don't know, but yeah, I was not maybe in the mood for it. And I started wearing it again in July and it was really beautiful. So this one has uh, beautiful notes of citrus like bergamot. The bergamot in this one is really beautiful. Uh, it has verbena for sure, maybe petit grain, lavender. I'm sure it has lavender. And I love the background also. It has tonka bean in the background and I think it has a hint of ambergris that makes it really addictive to me. <sighs> and this one is just so, so beautiful. I'm really happy they kept it because, you know, this collection with these bottles disappeared. But they kept this one and it's now in the um, L'Art et la Matière collection. And the new name, so it's called now uh, Frenchy Lavande, I guess. <sighs> and I really love this one. So it was in the... 
it's a masculine collection, but to me this one smells definitely unisex. And I'm really, really glad they, they kept it uh, in their collection. So yeah, a beautiful citrus and aromatic fragrance. My next fragrance is a tea fragrance. I, I believe I've talked many times about this one. And it is Te Yulong by Armani Privé. So I think this is the one from this um, private collection that I wear the most. I have several ones, but this one is the one that I wear the most. Because it's so easy to wear, it's an easy grabber, I would say. <laughs> easy reach, I don't know. Because it's comforting, but still it's citrusy, clean, elegant. Perfect for every day, it could be a signature scent. It's perfect to go to work also. You won't bother anyone with this one because it's beautiful, but it's quite soft, comforting. You have this comforting tea note. Um, I don't remember the citrus on top. I would say bergamot also, but <laughs> I feel like there's bergamot <laughs> in all of these fragrances. But and yes, on my skin, when it, in the evolution, I have also uh, a note of iris that I really like. It's bringing, um, let's say, some yeah classy elegance I know to the fragrance and I really I really like this one uh, I think this is a great one also to transition to autumn because I think I'm definitely see myself wearing it also in September uh, to go to work when it's uh, still warm but not too hot <laughs> I think this one will be perfect to go to work uh, my next one is a fragrance by Peris Monte Carlo and it is Mandarino di Sicilia. So this one is from their uh, citrus collection. So you have this white uh, transparent collection, which is for their citrus ones. And this one is my favorite one from this collection. I love this mandarin in this one, this mandarin orange. Uh, it's fruity, of course, but it's not sweet. It's not too sweet. It's really almost bitter and aromatic the way they treated this fruit. Yeah, it's like you have the really the, the the skin of the fruit, the skin of the of the orange, um, the the mandarin orange that you are peeling. So you really have like the smell of the almost the pulp, the zest, the peel of the fruit, which is really giving this yes yeah, slight bitterness. And I find this one really interesting. So. I really like this one and in the in the heat the fact that it's not sweet it's not cloying it's really perfect I really like this one too another one that is giving me quite the same vibe and is quite new also in my collection is a Big Arad Concentré by Frédéric Mal so this one is a great citrus created by Jean-Claude Elena of course he knows how to create his citrus fragrances and what I love in this one is as in Mandarino di Sicilia, is that this fruity fragrance is not sweet. It's quite dry, aromatic. And I really like the way it's treated. Yes, uh, <laughs> the same. I really feel like I have the, the smell of the, the peel of the, the fruit, the skin, but not, not really the, the juice or the... the it's like opening the fruit, you know, you really have this impression, this bitterness, this dryness. And it's so pleasing, so refreshing in the heat. And it's not sweet, so this is something that I really enjoy for this kind of fragrance. So talking about holidays, <laughs> this is one that I took with me because this is a travel spray and it's really practical. So I talked about it in my video about uh, packing my <laughs> summer fragrances. So if you've watched this video, maybe you remember that I wanted to uh, make some decant of fragrances that I had to take with me. So this is what I did. And uh, I took this travel spray with me. So, okay, this is one that I got uh, as a gift. So maybe that was not great quality. I don't know, but, you know, you can refill it like this. You know, as you can see, it's empty. But the problem is that I took it with me uh, in the plane. So it was... Um, uh, yes, in the plane, in my luggage. And the problem is that it completely evaporated during the flight. 
So I was so frustrated when we when I arrived because when I opened my luggage, I could smell the scent of this fragrance. And this is almost what I could smell the whole um, holidays because my clothes smelled like it, my luggage, my bags, everything. <laughs> My makeup bag, all, all the stuff that I put in my luggage, I had the smell of this fragrance. And this fragrance was, um, yeah, Shani Marcologne. So this is a pity because this is a discontinued fragrance that I really enjoy. But okay, at the same time, I had the smell with it during the whole holiday. So it was nice <laughs> to have this smell with me, but it was really frustrating because then I, I wanted to wear it and I, I could not wear it because my decant was empty. So, voilà. so I wore this fragrance, but I, when I came back from holidays, because I was craving for it then. <laughs> so if you are not familiar with this version, because there was a previous version to this one, but this one, I guess, is more modern. Uh, if you're not a fan, I would say, I was going to say, of Shalimar, but you love citrus fragrances uh, and vanilla, definitely you need to try this one, because this one is really lemons, uh, citrus, uh, but I really love the citrus in this one mixed with vanilla and this is really really beautiful. I love it. It's such a pity they discontinued it but you never know with Gala maybe one day or another it will come back. <laughs> so as I was craving for vanilla then <laughs> after this um, little story so the only vanilla that I took with me uh, was the other vanilla, vanilla was Couleur Vanille by L'Artisan Parfumeur. So this is, I didn't take the bottle, of course, with me. So this is the bottle of the fragrance, but I took some sup, samples of it. And I used it, but this one is quite strong. I, would, I was going to say less airy than this one because it has lots of citrus. And this one, even if it's a salty vanilla, I'm wondering if it doesn't have a uh, gallon or something like that. Because I have something like um, fresh marine air, but salty with the vanilla. Um, almost smelling like sand and beach. So I believe it has also the note of Immortel, who's, well, yes, this note, this note, um, yeah, this note of Immortel. Most of the time it reminds me of the beach. So <laughs> maybe, yeah, I think this is what is in this fragrance. And I love this one, but when it's too hot, I can't wear it. So this is this was really something that I enjoyed, but wearing for summer night. My next fragrance is a fragrance by Céline, and I guess this is the one that I wore the most <laughs> during my my travel during my summer holidays. And it is a Parade by Céline. So yeah, definitely I want a full bottle of this one because I, I just love it so much. It's so versatile. Um, <laughs> You can wear it for a summer evening, during the day, you can wear it to go to work, to a party, for a wedding. I think it's just perfect because it's elegant, it's clean, it's citrusy, it's inviting, it's floral, it's really beautiful. So you have, what I get from this one, I think it has bergamot, so I really enjoy the note of bergamot in this one. I'm really picky about my bergamot. <laughs> so I love the, the bergamot usually in uh, Guerlain fragrances. And in this one, it's also really, really great. The Neroli also is really beautiful. Not grandma-like, you know. <laughs> Sometimes Neroli to me can smell like grandma, but not at all in this one. It's really, really elegant. It doesn't smell like a baby or baby products either. And it has, um, yeah, it has something green and bitter also. So I'm wondering if it doesn't have petit grain. And it has, I don't know, something woody and clean in the background also. So I don't know, maybe some woody notes, some musk behind. Ah, it's just really beautiful. I really enjoy their fragrances. I like what they, they released in their collection. And I heard that a new one is coming. I don't remember the name, but uh, yes, of course, then I'm really interested about their releases. And my next one is a fragrance by Guerlain. <laughs> What a surprise. And it is an Aqua Allegoria. So it is Bergamot Calabria, which is my favorite um, Aqua Allegoria. <laughs> so not a surprise that I love this one during the summer holidays. So I took a decant of this one. So I have a travel spray. At some point, they used to smell travel, travel sprays of uh, this collection, Aqua Allegoria. 
I don't know if they will continue to do it, honestly, because now that they have this, um, let's say, eco-friendly uh, politic, <laughs> policy, um, yes, I think that now you have refilling great, um, let's say, big refilling bottles. And uh, I don't think that they will continue selling these travel spares, but still, okay, I can take a decant of it. Uh, maybe this is why also I feel like this bottle <laughs> is still really big, even if I used it a lot, because I had lots of samples of this one that I took with me on holidays and some travel sprayers. But still, I believe this is the fragrance that I wear the most during the summer holidays, and this is still the case. Yes, and what, <laughs> what does it smell like? To me, it's just the perfect bergamot fragrance. It's addictive in the sense that it's almost smelling like lemon also, citrus and yeah, bergamot and lemon. Because you have this uh, fruity aspect of the bergamot, it's still green and dry, but fruity and you still have some sweetness in this one, which makes it really addictive to me. It has some spices also, so maybe that's the mix with the spices. I think it has some ginger and cardamom spices that I love and mixed with bergamot. That's just perfect. <laughs> Almost smells like a desert to me. I really love this one. Okay, so I made some space for the next ones. <laughs> so this one I took also a travel spray of this one with me on holidays. And this is Beach Walk by Maison Margiela. So I feel like this bottle also is not going down for the simple reason that this is a fragrance that I only wear during the holidays, mostly during my summer holidays. So I never take the bottle, <laughs> this big bottle with me. And I always buy this travel spray, you know, this, this, um, they sell, sorry, they sell also this uh, 10 ml travel sprays. At some point, they say, okay, it's stupid. Maybe I just need to decant this bottle <laughs> to take with me on holidays. <laughs> but yeah, okay, instead of finishing this 10 ml, but yeah. So, um, what does it smell like? So this one, this is like a beautiful summer lotion. This is <laughs> what it smells like to me. This is the smell of, yes, body products, uh, summer body products that you use uh, at that period. And then it smells like when you use this, these products, you went to the beach, you're, it's smelling like hot skin mixed with these products. And then, yeah, basically this is what it smells like. So mixed with the hot skin, hot sand, body products, um, body lotion. Um, and this body lotion smells almost like, um, yes, really floral, but almost tropical with the ylang ylang. Yeah, this is mostly what I get <laughs> from this one. So salty ylang ylang, hot skin, hot sand. <laughs> yeah, the, the, this is the perfect name for it because this is exactly what it smells like. So this is a fragrance that I really enjoy to wear during the, the afternoon. When I came back from the beach, I took a shower and just uh, sprayed this one and it was my scent for the rest of the day. Um, then I took some samples of this one with me also and I, I finished <laughs> these samples and I had one left that I gave to my mother because she really enjoyed the smell of it. But yeah, at some point she decided not to buy it because she found that the, um, let's say that the, longevity and the performance of the fragrance was poor poor for her <laughs> because she loves really monstrous projections and uh, longevity in her fragrances of course this is not what you have here this is an eau de toilette and this is something for summer but this is the way i like it you know uh, this is i was surprised because this is the only ylang ylang uh, fragrance i believe that i wore during the whole uh, summer holidays uh, I didn't even long for, what was it, uh, Fleur des Fleurs that I really enjoy, or Terracotta by Guerlain. But I believe this is because it was so hot that, um, yes, this, th these fragrances are quite strong. So maybe this is not why I was uh, not longing for them or not craving for these ones, but for specifically for Beach Walk instead. So, well, you know, sometimes when fragrances are not that strong, this is a good point also <laughs> for summer fragrances because otherwise it can, it can be cloying and this one is not cloying at all to me. My next one is a fragrance by Jules Mad and it is Aqua Sextus. Sextus. So this one is really particular <laughs> in the sense that it's quite hard to describe. This fragrance is really unique. 
I never smell anything like this one. It's yeah, it's citrusy, it's aromatic, but it's piney <laughs> also at the same time. So I love this pine note in this fragrance. This is mainly what I get because I love pine uh, in fragrances. But I love also that I have this citrus uh, mixed with this... Um, smelling almost like the sea, fresh air, a bit fruity, a bit sweet, but not too much. Oh, I really like this one. <laughs> this is one that I really enjoyed also. I, I wore it, um, as you can see, you know, this fragrance is really strong, like one spray, you're good to go, especially in the heat. And because I believe this is an extrait de parfum, so sometimes extrait de parfum don't have great projection, and but they are close, they sit closer to the skin, but last longer. Uh, this one projects also. <laughs> this one is quite strong. But I think it's great for summer. <sighs> Just love it. Yeah, it's, it's reminding me also of the sand, of the sea, the beach. It's hard to describe, but if you love um, aromatic citrus fragrances, you love the note of pine, you love, I don't know, the smell of the beach, the sand, <sighs> something a bit fruity. I'm wondering if it doesn't have fig also in this one. I just love it so much. <laughs> Um, at some point I was wondering if I was getting a big bottle of this one, but I think this is one that I will only wear for summer, so maybe I think these travel sprayers are just really great. <laughs> okay, the next fragrance that I wore during the summer, so, but when I came back from holidays, is uh, Nerolia Vetiver by Guerlain. So this is one of their new fragrances, their new Aqua Allegoria. I voluntarily didn't take this one with me on holidays because I saw that I was only going to wear this one <laughs> if that was the case and I wanted to wear something else because since this one was released I wore it a lot. I think already uh, um, put quite a dent <laughs> in this one and this is something you know when I make a dent in a fragrance because I have so many it's quite hard for me to see yeah, the, the level going down. But as you can see, yeah, this one is quite new in my collection and I already wore it a lot. So why? <laughs> I think that this one also is really versatile, perfect for summer. Also, you can wear it to go out. You can wear it to go to work. It won't bother anyone. It's really beautiful and it's really elegant. I love the narrowly in this one. Really beautiful. Uh, I love also the note of fig. Uh, it has also a note of basilic, but I think it's bringing a bit of greenness and um, something aromatic to the fragrance without being cloying. You know, some, sometimes the basilic, uh, yeah, sometimes I don't like the note of basilic. It can smell almost like cannabis to me, and when it's going in that direction, that's not necessarily something that I enjoy. But here I find it really perfect. Sweet, but not too sweet, elegant, unisex. I, I just love this one also. It has something, yeah, <laughs> that I really enjoy. So really a great release. I really, I was really happy about this one and I'm still wearing it. Okay, so what do we have after that? Uh, another favorite of mine <laughs> for summer and it is Paris Venice by Chanel. So since I got this one, I really enjoyed wearing it for spring, summer, autumn, I believe only winter. I'm not wearing this one because it's a bit lighter. So also some beautiful citrus on top. I think we may have some aldehyde, some bergamot, iris for sure, <laughs> I spent the iris, some neroli, tonka beans. Okay, I don't know what else, but yeah, I'm so used to this fragrance. It's quite hard for me to describe the notes because I'm so focused on some notes that I get the most on my skin that now it's hard for me to pinpoint what's, what else is in this fragrance. But uh, I, I really enjoy this one in the sense that it's also really versatile. I love to wear it, um, especially for work, I would say, for summer when I go to work, but also when I have something a bit more formal, I was going to say, but also to chill at home, <laughs> I like to wear it, so yeah, and this is this is going to be a great one also to transition to autumn because I think it has also, you know, this iris, the tonka bean, this is all, these are also some notes that are great uh, for autumn, so yeah, <laughs> I'm still wearing it and I believe I'm going to wear it also for the month of September. 
Okay, and my last fragrance is pretty new also in my collection. And this is one that I started wearing at the end of August. And it is Tonka Blanc by L'Artisan Parfumeur. So this one was released in their uh, Potager <laughs> collection. So there were two fragrances from this collection that I really enjoyed. One was Iris de Gris and the other one was Tonka Blanc. So I don't know if I talked about it, but I spent quite a um, no buy <laughs> summer. So this was not planned, but in the end, I don't know. I didn't buy anything during summer except for this one. I believe this was the first fragrance that I bought when I came back from holidays at the end of August. And okay, I bought it from someone and so I bought two fragrances, Tonka Blanc, this one, and Iris de Gris, that I really enjoyed too. And Iris, Iris de Gris get lost by the post. <laughs> so, okay, I'm really sorry about that, but hopefully I got a refund, so it's fine. But I still get <laughs> Tonka Blanc. So this one is supposed to have the note of a cauliflower. Honestly, I don't have this on my skin, hopefully, because... I don't know, it's quite weird, <laughs> let's imagine to, have, to smell like cauliflower, but... And when I spray it on paper, I have, I have this note slightly at the beginning. So I have something citrusy at the beginning. <sighs> Maybe bergamot again, I feel like I'm smelling bergamot in all fragrances now, but you know, this is quite a common top note. And after that I have slightly, but really quickly on paper, I had this note of ca uh, cauliflower, but it disappeared really quickly but something like um, vegetal dry cauliflower not the one you know that you cooked um, in your pot and it's smelling really bad you know in your kitchen <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> because when you cook this vegetal uh, vegetable it smells not good at all you know but like more like the raw one you know really the, the smell of the raw vegetable and then you have something like a Something something that smells like a white cotton um, veil, something like that, you know, it's hard to explain, but you have this mix of white cotton veil, so maybe this is a mix of musk, white musk and tonka beans, which is bringing something really comforting and clean that I really enjoy also in this fragrance, even if I'm not a great fan of white musk, you know, but... In this one, I think it's working really well. You know, the mix of these notes. On paper, it seems strange, you know, when you read the notes, but it's working really well. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. <laughs> okay, now, so maybe let's talk about the fragrance that I tried during the summer, uh, during July and August. So, the, my discoveries for these two months. So, there were not that many because I'd, I didn't have many occasions to buy uh, samples during the summer holidays, but when I came back from holidays, I had a little surprise in my uh, mailbox. <laughs> so I had a sample of the one of Floraiku new fragrance. So I was really surprised that they sent me this. <laughs> so I believe they sent these uh, samples to their customers because yeah, I'm a customer of Floraiku. I'm the, um, I would say that uh, customer file, <laughs> I guess. And they sent me two samples of this fragrance, which is And Your Lips. So, what does it smell like? So, they describe a little bit the, the fragrance, but I'm not sure that it is really relevant. I was going to say relevant here, yeah, but... Okay, so when I smelled this fragrance at first, I thought, oh, okay, what is this? It smells like... Um, you know, something generic <laughs> that you smell everywhere, you know, this kind of uh, really sweet floral fragrance that you have uh, mainly in mainstream, f mainstream fragrances now in, um, yeah, what you can find in the perfumery, but but this one had something something attractive and different. So let me explain to you. It opened with something really sweet so you had this indeed this i believe they say candied jujube occurred okay i have no clue what it smells like this fruit from himalaya <laughs> which is supposed to have a taste of april and date okay i have no clue about what it smells like but i really had this impression of a really s a sweet uh, fruity note in the opening something that i couldn't really recognize but yeah really sweet <laughs> and after that 
uh, I was surprised because in the evolution I had something like uh, uh, that reminded me of male fragrances, so quite generic male fragrances, but mixed with uh, female fragrances. <laughs> I don't know if it does it does make sense, but this I feel like this one uh, is mixing the code of um, masculine and feminine perfumery, and I really enjoy it about this one. Uh, I love the lavender in this one. It has a beautiful note of lavender, even if it's not um, written. Okay, but this is mostly what I got. So it reminded me at some point of Montguerlain, because I think you also have something vanilla, like vanilla tonka beans behind. And yes, you have beautiful rose in the middle and jasmine, but this is not the main player, I would say, in this fragrance. To me, this is really this fruity part and the lavender these floral notes and the, the white musk, maybe something like vanilla and the tonka bean behind, but it has something really addictive in the sense that I found it as addictive as uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 when I tried it the first time. At some point, the first, the first time I tried it, it was a bit, oh, it's really sweet, it's a bit too much, you know, and um, a bit too generic, maybe something. And at some point in the evolution, I was really positively surprised because I love this aromatic note that they, they put in this fragrance. And yeah, I really enjoy this one so much that, as you can see, this is half um, empty <laughs> and I've already finished the first sample that they sent me. So, okay, it's a nice gift, but at some point it's um, not that nice because when you see the price of this fragrance, it's 255 euro, I believe, I say, okay, no, okay, thank you, but no, thank you. <laughs> like, okay, now I'm really enjoying this one, but, um, you know, uh, does it worth um, 255 euro? I don't know, but I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe at some point I will buy it for my birthday, I don't know, but... I will see if I'm still addicted to it after um, a few weeks. Maybe it will be a buy. I don't know. Okay, my next discovery of the month was um, a buy also. <laughs> so it was at the end of August also. I've watched um, a video from Gwen from uh, La Demoiselle au Pivoine. So if you are a French uh, viewer, so please check her channel. Or maybe I'm sure you already know her channel. And she talked about, I was really intrigued, huh, about this version of Oud Satin Mood. So this is the Elixir Precieux version. And then, okay, I found it and I tried it and um, yeah, I really <laughs> enjoyed it. So basically, uh, maybe I can show you how it looks like. So it's not like your, your typical sprayer. This is something that is more like a, a roll-on, a roller. <laughs> that you use to put on your wrist, on your neck maybe. So this is not the same way of using the fragrance. Uh, okay, so it's like this, you know, you have this little roller. So I had the um, full roller in the box. And what I really enjoyed about it is that you really have the smell of oud satin mood, but I have more, maybe I feel like I have much more vanilla with the oud from this one. So I still have the rose, of course, the rose, the wood, and the vanilla. Maybe a bit less the violet aspect from the this fragrance, but that I really enjoy. But still, it's really pleasant, you know. And to have this, uh, maybe more vanilla. I don't know. But what I really enjoyed about it is that I love wood satin mood, but sometimes it's too much. It's <laughs> it's a bit um, too much in the sense that's really in your face. Sometimes it's smelling really strong on me and uh, a bit worried that I'm going to bother people around me. I definitely don't feel comfortable wearing this fragrance to go to work. But this version, I feel like it's it sits closer to the skin. You get whiffs of the fragrance when you move. And I really enjoy that because it's not in your face. It sits closer to your skin. You still have this uh, beautiful scent and yeah i really like it so i think it's a great way to to be able to wear this one and i also wore it uh, during the summer nights <laughs> so you can imagine i was craving for wood at the end of the summer like okay i got too much heat it's too much now let's give me some autumn and winter vibe 
And I found that this, uh, yeah, this Elixir version was the, a great way to have that. So yeah, <laughs> I'm really happy about this discovery. Okay, so it's cutting already because I don't have much battery anymore. So I will try to be <laughs> quite weak. So I was saying that um, you can order some samples from Skins Cosmetics. So if you don't know them, they are in the Netherlands and you can order from them if you, I believe if you're in um, Europe. So uh, what I ordered from them are some other samples from Ella K because I really enjoy what I tried from this brand. And yeah, so I really enjoyed also these samples. Uh, they are completely different one from another, uh, except that I don't really remember <laughs> about these two. Uh, one really reminded me, I don't remember if this is Poem de Sagano or Plus sur Allong, um, maybe Plus sur Allong. There is one that really reminded me of um, Un Jardin sur le Nil. It has some kind of the same vibe. <laughs> uh, this one is a great woody one. This one uh, was a really nice um, rose fragrance that reminded me kind of uh, Rose Kabuki by Dior. So I really like this one. And Melody Daltai, yes, um, hmm, to me it was a really good one. I really enjoyed this one. So I'm still um, yeah, wondering if I was go I'm going to take it or not, because as you can see, I, I wore it already. Uh, this is quite an ambery, soft um, leather fragrance, I was going to say, yes, because it has, I think it has leather, but it's quite soft. I uh, still have some vanilla. It's really comforting and, I don't know, cocooning, I was going to say, but... I really like this one. It's it's a great fragrance, and yeah, all of her fragrances that I tried are really great. Um, yes, I really enjoyed also the one she created. What was it? Uh, rose, um, rose something. <laughs> I don't remember. She created um, yeah, rose de Pushkar and lettre de Pushkar. These ones are really great too, and the whole new uh, leather range that she released. Um, this is really great. So maybe at some point I need to uh, create a specific video de dedicated to this brand because I think um, this brand definitely deserves it. This is a brand created by Sonia Constant. Maybe you've heard about this brand and I think that their fragrances are really, really great. So yes, some other really great discoveries this month. Um, voilà, so I'm not going to talk also, or maybe just a little bit about... Um, Arthur Penhaligans and Oud Cole. So these were also two new discoveries from uh, for the month of August. But as I've already created some dedicated videos for these two fragrances, I've just encouraged you to, to check these videos if you're interested about these two fragrances. And well, I believe the video has already been quite long. <laughs> uh, maybe tell me what you've been wearing uh, for the months of July and August what you've been wearing this summer or maybe what you're eager to wear for this fall season and i hope to see you soon in my next video bye